All right, this is the new setup. We have this new type of wire. It's a flat uh, ladder top line. Oh, it's not really a ladder. It's this 300 ohm antenna cable that's made be to go between TVs and their antennas. It fits under the window, which is nicely. Uh, the window can lock and everything. And it goes up into a point way up there, and I forgot to take a picture of the branching point, but all that happens is the wire splits into its two leads, and a uh, wire goes in each direction. One of the wires I managed to take from there all the way to the top of that tree over there. I doubt you'll be able to see it from here, but uh, according to the Google satellite images, it's about 100 feet long, a little bit over 100 feet. And I guess it's hidden pretty well. I can't even see the wire. So I'm confident the camera can't see it, maybe from this angle. The wire goes about up here, this direction, and across there. On the other side, it goes to the tree, which you can start to see. Ah, you might be able to see the wire branching off in that direction there. So the wire comes around here, goes to that tree, and then it gets tied off at the base. The ladder line, or the 300 ohm coax, comes in easily through the window, goes right in the back of my antenna tour, tuner, gets screwed in right there, no big deal. I uh, treat it as a balanced load, and the antenna tuner takes care of the matching and takes it from 300 ohms to 50 ohms to make the transceiver happy, so we'll see if we can make some contacts. Roger, Roger. It is good to hear you today in Orlando, Florida. Orlando, Florida, you have a strong signal, 5-9 over. 5 by 9 over in Orlando, Florida. And my name is Scott Sierra Charlie Oscar Tango Tango. And I am running a dipole between two trees as a temporary portable station. Back to you, OP2A. This is AJ4VD. Oscar, Papa 2 Alpha, Alpha Juliet 4, Victor Delta. Very good, you have a wonderful setup there. I am looking at your photos on QRZ.com and you have a very, very impressive antenna system. I am, like I mentioned earlier, I'm using a portable station and I just got in from outside hanging up a new antenna. We had some storms last night and this morning and my old antenna was blown down. I used a fishing rod and fishing line to hang the antenna but that fishing line breaks if more than eight pounds of pressure are, are loaded onto it. And the antenna fell during the evening last night. So I was out there this morning hanging up a new antenna, and you were the first person I spoke with on this new antenna. I hope it's a little bit improved over the old one. Every time it, every time it falls down and I have to string it up again, I seem to get a little bit better at it. Back to you, OP2A. This is AJ4VD. Uh, put it on the 
metallic metal 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 wire was protected with a transparent plastic cover. And it's very thin. It's very thin but extremely strong. And you can use that also. The only problem is to connect the metallic to your coax. But then you can use some other tools to get those connected. But they're pretty strong also. Okay. A lot of possibilities, a lot of possibilities. Or even make yourself a beam or whatever. A quad beam maybe. And yeah, there are a lot of other things to experiment with it. No problem. But fine, folks, you don't have to worry a bit. It is working and that's the most important thing. AK4 thing to build and ask the Papa 2 Alpha. Oscar Papa 2 Alpha. This is Alpha Juliet 4 Victor Delta. Thank you for the advice. I think I will have to go to a hardware store later today and walk around and, and take a look for some of that wire that you mentioned. Uh, the wire that I'm using is not designed to be very strong and it, it definitely was not intended to be used for anything uh, with any tensile strength to it. And hanging a long dipole definitely puts a lot more stress on this wire than I intended it to, that it was intended for. But uh, it seems to be working. You're absolutely right and I'm very happy it's working so I'm going to continue using it as is at least until it falls down again. And also I thought you might find it interesting, I am not using coax. I am not using coax. I am using the 300 ohm antenna cable that it was usually used between TVs and TV antennas, that flat type of cable. I found a large quantity of that inexpensively at a store recently. And the advantage of that is that I can run it through a window and fully close the window. I can close and lock the window and I don't have to drill any holes anywhere so being that I don't live in the house where I'm currently staying that's a tremendous advantage not to have to drill holes and run coax from inside to outside so I'll go ahead and let you go your signal is starting to fade a little bit as well so I don't know how long we'll have it but I'll go ahead and say 73 while we've still got a good connection got you in the log here and I certainly hope to hear you again sometime soon OP2A this is AJ4VD 73 As you can hear, there are a lot of people trying to talk to that guy. Thank you. 